Turn on snapping, get into the palette, uh, go to settings, notice there's a new, there's some new notches in the snapping steps. If you want to go tiny, you can go half a centimeter. It's a new little in-betweener. Let's, let's use that one. Um, five centimeters. And hit create. Let's draw some cubes. Um, the drawing has been updated so it you know, fills the cube properly. It also has a little bit of stickiness and snappiness to it when you're when you're drawing, so it should be easier to kind of hit exactly how you want to draw. Um, the move tool has been updated, so it also has a little bit of that that same stickiness and snappiness, making it, making it a little bit easier for you. It also has it now, so you can rotate the shape uh, and you know have with the with the snapping settings that you you set it up to do. So in my case, I have. 30 degrees or something, 45 maybe. Um, if you don't want to have it do that, there's a setting for it. So in settings, you can say freeze rotation on move. And now if I move and I rotate, nothing will happen, right? That also works outside of snapping. So let's turn off snapping and see it, you know, stays in the rotation that you want it. Okay. Let's turn on snapping again, and let's go back to rotation, pop that in place. Okay, the other tool is scaling. Um, so scaling when you have snapping on works a little bit differently. Uh, so let's let's select these shapes. And by the way, uh, hold down your button to spray paint select. Um, scale. Now scaling will try to keep the object on the grid, right? So scale in snapping mode will scale to double size or half size, and that makes it so you're you're still on the grid. So in here, you can now hit create and keep drawing, and now I'm in I'm half sized, right? Like the same um, uh, in the same grid, but I can start adding detail to it, right? So again, select. Let's do some spray paint selection and uh, let's scale. Scale this down. You scale down half size. It comes back to where you where you started, right? So you're still on the, on the same grid that you were before. Um, yep. So there you go. The uh, uh, this all, by the way, works also with your offhand now. So use your your other hand, move it around, and it should be. Um, Using the grid, snapping in, and you can you can rotate it, you know, with ease. Um, so the new tool that we added is the manipulate tool. Click on that one, select one of your shapes, you get all these arrows showing up. Now this now makes it so you can stretch, scale the shape in any direction you want. Either hit the hit the arrow, or kind of hit close on the object, close to the arrow. And it'll do go in that direction. Uh, so this kind of takes out the stress of like that first stroke you make to make the shape just right. If you don't get it right, you can just scale it now, right? Um, there's a shortcut for this, and this is when you when you take your offhand, grab something, um, you actually it puts you into manipulation mode. So now you can hold something in one hand and kind of scale it out. You don't have to. You know, so you can quickly just do little little adjustments, right? So I want to do just like that. Uh, and so, and and both of those, you know, works with uh, snapping or not, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I want to talk about one more thing uh, on uh, on snapping and. A new, so I'll show you. So now I'm outside of snapping. Let's create a little sphere here. All right. So that's a free hand. So that, this one is not going to be on the grid, right? If I turn on the grid and I start moving it, um, well, maybe it's hard to see here. I'm going to I'm going to increase the size 
my grid. So the way our grid works, it, it takes the edges and snaps them to the edge of the grid, uh, which is cool. Uh, there's another way, new way now, you can say snap to center. And this one is now gonna snap it straight to the center of the grid, right? Uh, and this makes it a little bit easier to do, you know, patterns like this, um, where you, yeah, you just want them to align up, but they don't, they don't really, the objects themselves don't align to the grid. Um, and I think the last thing on grid is, uh, so you have all these, um, all these lines in your face, um, and there's a new setting to get rid of that. So show grid right there, unclick. Now you can just work in more of your, um, more in your Zen. And um, yeah, you don't have to see all those lines. Well, turn it on again. There you go, lots of lines. <clears throat> all right. Um, so the other thing I wanna do Let's say we're done with this editing. Um, turn off snap. So there's another another way of aligning things together. I'll show you this one. Um, so let's get a prop in here. Furniture. Now let's say what do I want? I wanted. Let's say I would just want this box. Okay. So yeah, let's see up and down on this way. All right. So here's a box. Um, so usually, if you move move the box around, you know, just just move wherever you tell it, right? There's a new um, new feature called aligned. If you align it, as so you move it down to the to the ground, it'll actually align to the ground, right? That also works with multiple surfaces. So you can align it to the wall you, know, you want. You can align it to the wall like that, but still rotate it, right? Like this. And this makes it easier to say, I want to clone this guy. If you move it out of collision, and then you go align, align, it'll snap into this, this thing, right? So you can now easier align your world objects together. Um, now, if I wanted to, let's move this. If I wanted to move and align those, those edges there, right? I want to be perfectly aligned. I can now go back to my settings. There's another option for aligning to edges. So move it in and you see how it pops into place. Whoop. Right. And this, this kind of works in all, in all directions. So uh, move it up, align it, see how it rotates it into place and snaps it into to the corners. You get that perfect alignment right there. Okay, this also uh, works in uh, in shape mode. So let's look at that. Um, let's teleport over here. Uh, you, so now I don't have any snapping on, but I have alignment on. Draw something. Maybe do a little bit of that. Make another cube. I have now alignment on. If I move it down to the to the object. It will now slide along along the surface, and if I move it to any of the corners, it will stay on those corners. Right? Um, this makes it easy to do a bit more organic stuff, but still a little bit of alignment, right? And uh, you know, I don't need to align all the, the edges, but if I, if I move it close to the edge and I have that option on, it's going to do it right there. Um, let's do some more of that. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, something new to play around with. Um, the last thing I want to show you is selection. If I go in and say, um, if I select two of these things, or actually just one, um, I get this dot, dot, dot. It's a new little context sensitive menu. Click on that. You get the option to say split shapes. If I click that, this will be ghosted out, which means this is now its own object, right? If I go out of editing, I'll now find that those two are two separate objects, right? If 
I'm in object mode, um, I can select these two. I get the dot, 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 because they're both uh, shapes. And then I can say merge that. Boop. And now, oh, it's clicking away. Oop. Um, they're now one, one object. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, quick shout out to community, to all our, our um, master creators. Thank you for all the, the input. Keep it, keep it coming. Uh, we'll listen to all of it. And until next time, thank you so much.